Hello French learners, I hope you've had a great week. Mine hasn't been so good again this week, as you can tell by my statistics. I think this is the worst I've ever looked, but I did cook something French, as I said I was going to in my last video. I made the easiest thing possible on that Languages Kitchen website that I showed you guys last week. Da -da -da -da. Truffe au chocolat. Uh, I'll show you how I made them. It's so, so easy. I did just take the French from the uh, site and turn it into a link lesson, studied it, and then just read the French instructions when I made them. So it was a lesson in French. It was something that was helping me with my French, and it was also a fun thing to do. I think what I'm going to do is throughout this year French challenge, um, every couple of months or so, I'll try a new French recipe and they will get harder. Because this, I mean, it's not really cooking, as you'll see in a second. It's just melting some chocolate, mixing it with cream, and then putting it in the fridge and then rolling it into balls, putting pretty things on it. <laughs> but if you get really good chocolate, they're really, really good. I did have a mishap too. I was supposed to have double the amount as you'll see, I used white chocolate too, but I couldn't get the white chocolate cream combo to set enough to make the cute little balls. It was just like, it was too wet. So this goes to show I'm a terrible cook. My husband does most of the cooking at home because I mess up even the most simple recipe. Laissez chauffer, mais ne pas faire bouillir. Ajoutez le beurre. Faites fondre la chocolat noir et la chocolat blanc dans deux casseroles séparées. Vous essayez de tirer de la mélange de crème sur le chocolat noir et le reste dans le chocolat blanc et fouetté. Ajoutez une pincée de sel au mélange de chocolat noir. Une fois complètement lisse, placez au réfrigérateur pendant 2 heures à définir. Environ 30 minutes avant de servir, sautez le bol du réfrigérateur et laissez-les se réchauffer à température ambiante. Écrasez les noix mélangées dans un sac en plastique. Placez dans un petit bol. Dans un autre bol, placez le cacao en poudre, les noix de coco dans un autre et les pépites dans des bols différents. Réchauffez quelques cuillères à café, ramassez des cuillères à café de chocolat et ajoutez ce que vous voulez. So there you have it, my super simple, but I still managed to mess it up recipe. <laughs> Um, I will, as I said, work on some more difficult French recipes as the months go by. I did enjoy it. And how can you not love that part of French learning when you have chocolates at the end of it? So I'll always choose a dessert because life's too short not to. In terms of study, I told you guys last week about the podcast that I'd found called Au Frontier du Possible. I've been trying to listen to more episodes, but quickly became frustrated. Uh, it's just too difficult for me right now. And of course, it's okay to try difficult content, but I feel like I'm, I'm not in the right place to, to get through it this week. I haven't been, so I've taken a pause on that. And actually, was this week I was working through a lot of the... Um, again in a French because excellent content and I can really easily get through it and I think it's just it's just perfect for my level. I also wor worked through some of the kind of short story uh, reader type content in the link library which I will put a link to in the description box if that sounds like something you're interested in. I found another great YouTube channel, Le Fossoyeur de Film. Now, this content is difficult. 
I love film and this guy creates excellent content but speaks very quickly, is very funny, I don't get any of the jokes. <laughs> But um, I thought I would mention it for any of you who are at this level or near it and might want to give it a try. I, I've made some lessons with some of his videos um, and I've been working my way through one of them. But because it's such a visual channel, uh, you really want to watch the video as well. So I think I'm going to keep this one on the back burner until my level is is a bit higher. But great 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 channel i'm excited slash impatient to be able to watch these videos um and not be lost from the first <laughs> sentence pretty much but i'll get there i'll get there it's just great finding this content and knowing that um it's there for me one day to enjoy so and that is about it for me this week i have not been writing every day as i said i would i am still writing but I'm not doing it every single day, so I might try to figure out a way to make myself more accountable for the writing. So uh, maybe I will tell my uh, father-in-law, who speaks French, that he should expect a text from me at a certain point in the day, and um, it'll all be in French. Maybe it'll just be what I've been up to in the day, or something else. and. Uh, if I don't get it, he will message me and ask where it is. So <laughs> getting friends and family to help you stay accountable is always good. I will carry on with uh, Inner French lessons this week and I'll take a look for some more recipes and maybe next month I'll try another one because uh, it was fun. I do still have that silver apple, that silver twinkly apple. It's giving me hope. So there's that at least. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you on Friday.